Now you might be interested to calculate all of these statistical measures which we have talked about previously in just one shot. The answer of this question is yes. There are the certain statistical packages that you can use to calculate all of these statistical measures at once. And one of the package is Psyche. So let's try to see that how we can use the Psyche package and its function describe to calculate all of the statistical measures at once. So as you can see it here then, right now we are in our working directory which is a test and in a previous video tutorials we have explained it to you that how you can set the working directory. Currently we have set our working directory. Now let's load our clinical data set which is present in our working directory in a form of CSV format. This is a piece of code which we have demonstrated to you in a previous video tutorials to load your data set. When we have run that code, then you can see into the environment that there are the 10 variables and the 100 observations. We have explained this concept to you that what does it mean by the variables and what does it mean by the observations. Now to use the Psyche package, the first thing is that you have to install the Psyche package. And to install the Psyche package, we are going to use installed.package and then we will give the parenthesis and within the parenthesis we will type the Psyche. After doing that, we will come out of the parenthesis and we will hit the run button or press the control enter key. Once you will do that, then the Psyche package will be installed in your system. Please keep it into mind that you need to be connected with an internet during the installation process. If there would be any problem in your internet connection, then the Psyche package may not be installed properly. So make sure that you are connected with a good internet connection. We have already installed this package in our system. So therefore, we are not going to repeat it. Now once the Psyche package is installed in our system, we have to load this package. To load the Psyche package, we are going to use this piece of the code. In this piece of the code, you can see the library in blue color. This is a function which will help to load the Psyche package. To load the package, we will type the library and then we will give the parenthesis and within the parenthesis, we will type the name of the package which we want to load. After this, we will come out of the parenthesis and run this piece of code. When you will run this piece of code, then look at the console. In the console, we got a no error message. It means that our Psyche package is now loaded. After loading the Psyche package, we are going to use a one function of this package and name of that function is describe. So we will write the describe. After describe, we will write down our name of our variable which is holding the data and that name of the variable is a data as you know it very well. After it, we will write down the dollar sign and write down the name of the column in which we are interested. So currently we are interested in an age column. After writing this piece of code, we will come out of the parenthesis and we will hit the run button or press the control enter key. And once we will do that, then look at the console. We will have the output. Now this is really interesting output, so let's talk about it. If you look at this output, then you are going to find out a number of different values. So let's try to understand these values. The first value is a VARS. The VRS stands for the variable. Now, if you note it down here, so the value below the VRS is 1. This is letting us know that currently we are going to calculate the statistical values of only a one variable, and that is age. Then you are going to find out the n, and below the n, you are going to find out 100. So, what this is, the n is going to let you know the total number of observations present in the age variable. And this number is 100. After it, you are going to find out the mean value of this variable, which is 48.28. Then you are going to find out the standard deviation, which is 10.86. After it, you are going to find out the median value, which is 48. After it, you are going to have the trimmed value. Now, the trimmed value is very interesting. So let's first try to understand the trimmed. The trimmed is basically a mean that is calculated after trimming the certain percentage of lowest and very highest values. 
Here, it is not specified that what type of the values are trimmed. But the trimming can actually help us to reduce the impact of outliers at our mean. In simple words, you can say that the trimmed is letting you know the mean after removing the outliers. After the trim, you are going to have MAD value. So what does it mean by MAD? The MAD stands for Median Absolute Deviation. The Median Absolute Deviation is a robust measure of variability that describes a median of absolute deviation from the median. What does it mean? As you can see it here that the MAD value is 8.9 and this is indicating the typical deviation from the median age. As you know it very well that the median age is 48. So 8.9 is letting us know that the most of the values in our data set is actually different 8.9 from the median age. After the MAD, you are going to have the minimum value and the maximum value in the form of min and the max. So the minimum value in our data set is 18 and the maximum value is 72. After the maximum, you are going to have a range value. So the range is basically a difference of maximum and the minimum value. If you subtract 72 from 18, the 72 which is a maximum value and 18 that is a minimum value, then you are going to have an answer 54 and that is actually going to be your range. After this, you are going to have a skew value. So what is a skew value? The skew is basically a measure of skewness. If the value is zero here, it means that your data is perfectly a normally distributed data. But if you are going to have a skewness value, either with a positive sign or the negative sign, it means that there is actually going to be a skewness in your data. Currently, we are going to have a skewness value is minus 0.18. This is letting us know that there is a very slight skewness on the left hand side. If this value is positive, 0.18, then it means that there is going to be a very slight skewness on the right hand side. So this will let you know about the right hand skewness or the left hand skewness. If the value is large, it means that the skewness is very high, but if the value is small, it means that the skewness is not so high. After this, you are going to have another very important value, which is the cortices. The cortices is measure of tailness. If there is going to be a zero value here, then it will indicate that tails are just like the normal distribution. But if the value is not zero, but it's a negative sign, it means that there is going to be a small tail. But if the value is going to be in a positive here, then it means that the tails are actually going to be large. The last one is going to be SE value. So what is SE? The SE is going to let us know about the standard error, which could be present in our data. As you can see it here that after running just as one small piece of the board, we are going to have all of the descriptive statistic value here. We hope so that this will be pretty interesting for you. You can not only calculate the statistical values of one variable of your data set, you can also calculate the statistical values of all variables of your data set at once using this package. How? Let's try to calculate it. To calculate the statistical values of your all variables in your data set, we are going to write down describe. After typing the describe, we will write down the uh, parenthesis and within the parenthesis, we will write down the name of the variable that is holding our data. After writing this, come out of the parenthesis and run this piece of code. When you will run this piece of code, then look at the console. In the console, you are going to have the statistical values of all variables which are present in your data set. These variables include the numeric variables and as well as the categorical variables. As you can see it here, the age is a numerical variable while the sex is going to be a categorical variable. Similarly, the diabetic status and the smoking status is also a categorical variable. As we have explained you in a module one of this course, that the statistical values can be measured for the numerical variables but they are not so much important for the categorical variables. So please ignore the categorical variable values here and just focus on the numerical variables. Now, here comes a question that how you can handle the categorical variables? We will talk about this in detail in our upcoming materials.
So, so far we have talked about it that, that how we can calculate the, some basic statistics of numeric variables. And we hope so that this will be really informative for you. In case of any confusion, please don't hesitate to contact us. We are always here to help you out. We will see you now in the next module where we will talk about the categorical variables.